I think I'm live. Yoo-hoo. Finally, I've got my tech working. I am back in the room. I am back in my room. Um, yeah, it's a mess, but we're starting. I'm sorting. I'll wait for a few people to turn up. I, I know there's a couple of people who might pop in. It's been a long while, for which I can only apologise. It's entirely my fault for being an utterly disorganised cow and being unable to get my act together. So, duh. Um, I'm trying to make a bit of light here because I'm looking very washed out. But it's going to take me a while to get the lighting situation mm -hmm. up. Mm -hmm. oh. That's okay. Just checking, just seeing if I'm actually on. <laughs> That's all right. Someone's sending me messages. Oh, hello. Hi, Crispy. <laughs> I'm finally going live. I'm finally in a room that's not a bedroom hello sue hello lovely sue oh yes grab yourself a coffee you do um i've only just had a bit of lunch so i figured i'd give this a try hello all 33 misses and i do know your name name but my brain's a bit smooshed um hello joan hello lex mrs bad biscuit well um i've i've been very fortunate in that i actually cleared a lot of my tat cave of games because thank you to Mr. and Mrs. Nick Hills. I, when I first started out, and we're talking probably five years ago, I was unable to resist a good game. Now I had some very good ones, and I realised that I'd actually been I listed some and they dropped off my listings, um, or stuff I'd never got round to listing. And I kind of thought after the, this number of years, I now know that that is not my bag. Retail arbitrage is not my thing. Games are not my thing. And there are many other things that aren't my thing. So I'm refining what I do, trying to simplify what I do and looking at my horrendous nails. I am sorry, the black nail varnish has chipped off. So, <laughs> oh, hello, Sam. In between packing. Yes, you're moving today, Sam. So I hope it's going really well. I hope it's not pushing it down like it is here now. Um, I went out this morning and did a bit of sourcing while I could. So having got rid of an awful lot of games, it's meant I can sort my room I can't really give you a guide. To this is very much a before. I don't want to make anyone feel ill. I've organised my shelves behind me there. You see, any rather not. If I cut it out, then you actually don't see the um, Mahusa pile of shite just there. Um, I have my lava lamp, which is warming up nicely. Um, and so I'm going to have a proper usable space instead of sitting on a bed looking like a black cat in a coal mine whenever I come on to do chats. And it looks like the tech's working. You, you get me without makeup, barely blown through the door um, after a shopping trip. Because I was in the mood. The weather was nice and I wanted to go out. You're having a coffee break. Well, good for you, Sam. That's a, probably a very good idea. I've had a horrible cold these last couple of weeks. No, not that cold. Just, just a cold. Promise. Um, and so I went out and about. And I've been doing an awful lot of sourcing lately I have to say I've been very lucky um, picked up some amazing things and sales are up and down like a what's his drawers as we all, we all know um, but I haven't been able to, to show you them because I just had problems with the tech so I'm back in the room and I can now show you what I has bought I went to two charity shops this morning did you see a con man there oh you've got keen eyes crispy yes you do see a con man. I'm not sure if it's 100% complete. I kept this one because my son um, quite enjoyed it for a while and I really couldn't bear to part with it just yet. In its box, uh, we found that there's some little balls that, that fit it quite nicely. So, yes, you see a con man there. Um, I'm not completely not doing games, but I just kind of know my limits and I know what I'm not good at. And that's, I guess that's part of the learning process to be able to hold my hands up and go, you know, I can't know about everything. I can try, but I'm not going to. And I want to be happy in what I'm selling. And if I'm not excited enough about something to list it, then clearly it's not the thing for me. Hello, David M. The Car Boot Picker. Hello. Nice to see you here. Right. I was just trying to figure what I'd spent. And I can't find the bag number one. I think I spent... Oh, what did I spend? How ridiculous. It's because I spent cash, you see, because I had cash, so I wouldn't spend cash. Anyway, I will show you what I bought. I apologise, there will be some clothes here. Anyone that knows me knows that's kind of my bread and butter stuff. Uh, but I have a deep love, as you can see from behind me, of 
studio glass, pottery, ceramics. I'm learning about that and I'm enjoying it and I'm excited to, to research and list it. So that's my sort of ooh, excitement thing at the moment. Um, the slightly mad hair, you, will, you can really see it in this light. This, this is the big white stripe I have um, that I'm letting grow out. I will do a proper update for people. There we go, look, I have white sidey boards. Um, I like the white sidey boards. I'm not so sure about the great amount on the top, but there we go. So I'm kind of sporting my black and white look at the moment. I'm, I'm trying to rock it, but I'm just feeling like I want to go back to bed right now, to be fair. Hello, Kath Sten. That's a new name to me. I've got a proper swivelly chair as well, but actually very little room because I'm still in the process of sorting out, but I got bored and decided to go sourcing. So um, now this will be very difficult. At least I can stand back and show you things now. I thought this was a dress when I first saw it, and the reason I was drawn to it was because of the star print, which I know is everybody loves, but it is actually a jumpsuit. Not something I'm likely to be rocking anytime soon. I don't think they do me any favours. Um, I'm a bit sort of long in the leg and a bit kind of gangly to be wearing these. Um, it's by Peruna, so, and it came with its belt, because so often stuff that has belts loses belts along the way. It doesn't really look like it's been worn, to be fair. Someone probably did a me, bought it, got it home, tried it on and went, nah, it's just not me. The problem I have with these sort of things is they often have this sort of, it's a wrap front, but it, it just means gaping and look after look after booby John show. And unless one wants to feed the world, most of us don't, uh, it's not something you really want out there. So I don't think it's silk or anything fancy. I mean, it's not going to be for Per Una. But I paid, which is what you actually want to know. I am out of practice. Apologies. Sue, you're back in the room. <laughs> oh, thank you, Joan. That's really kind of you. And thank you, Lex. Oh, it, I, I know when I'm out and people do look at me quite strangely. I mean, initially I'm used to that, let's be fair. But I think this surprises people and they find it a bit of a shock that I've just let it go. It's like, well, hell, why not? I did pay £5 for this jumpsuit, but I'm pretty confident I can get at least 25 for it because it's the star print and everybody loves stars who knows um i was just in that mood now where i'm going to put this because this is the point where i'll put it over organization will follow i love this now i saw this and thought of lex i thought of you lex <laughs> it's faux obviously whoops here i go Hang on, can I not find the other arm? It does have two arms, I promise. It's not that defective. It is. It is actually a long jacket. It, it kind of comes halfway down my leg, but above the knee. Big. I mean, it's, it's way too big for me, actually. <laughs> it, it's too big. But it's gorge, and it feels lovely. It's actually got quite quite big sleeves. And, of course, with the fashion being for, for statement sleeves, I figured this could do quite well. I've got to get it up listed, mm -hmm. like, pronto. I want it on auction very, very swiftly. But it's actually a vintage one. Um, and it's by... I didn't recognise the brand, but it's nice inside. This says Tiber, T-Y-B-E-R. Um, not a brand I know. I've had a little bit of a look up, and I reckon I could easily get 50 quid for that. And I did pay £10 for it. It's quite rare you'll find me paying £10 for anything, but I just fell in love with it, to be honest. It's such a nice quality thing. And it doesn't smell too, it smells a little dusty, but it, it's not, you know, sort of musty and fusty and horrible. And I thought that was lovely. And the lining's all in good condition. You know, so often you find these things and the, the lining and under the arms is all gone. I It doesn't say what size. Um, I'm going to have to take measurements, but I'm, I'm thinking that's probably got to be at least a 16, 18, unless it's meant to be a swim coat, which it could be possibly the case, because it sort of fits me across the shoulders. But then I'm quite shouldery. Oh, you like it, Kath. It'll be listed soon on a website near you. Um, <laughs> that's the idea, anyway, that I'm going to have going to have it all listed. Oh, I mustn't have the standing knives lurking about the place. Not to be trusted with knives. Um, uh, what could have been a bit of a boo-boo, I picked these up because the size of them was 34 wide, 34 long, and they're Levi's. Now, I did pay £3.50 for them. I don't pay up a lot for Levi's, but they're 507s, which is not a, not a number I know in Levi's. What I failed to notice, because I'm a bit of a dingus and it is 
Monday morning is they have got sort of rather frayed hems, but some people don't mind that. And because they're a 34 leg, um, you know, they're a decent length. I love finding long jeans. Um, in fact, Hubby just paid quite a lot of money for a pair of Levi jeans that he had to buy online because he wears his jeans have to be at least 34 inches long. Otherwise, they, they just don't meet his ankles, to be fair. I don't know what I'll get for those. But as I only paid £3.50, I'm not going to, I'm certainly not going to lose money on it. Um, I have to give a shout out to, to the lovely Julie and her mum who came to uh, pick up the games this morning. And I know they're going to have far better luck with them than I will. Um, I know there's some goodies in there that they'll enjoy. So, uh, ah, the other thing I bought from that shop was, this intrigued me. I half thought I might use it for myself, but it's Sony. Now, I, I do dabble in electronics a little bit. You know, I was always a bit nervous, but I've not been doing too badly with them lately. And it's a thing called the Dream Machine. And it looked quite nice and snazzy. And it has, has this where you put your CD in. You could probably put something like Bird Song or something, a relaxation CD, um, to help you get off to sleep or to wake up to in the morning. Um, it didn't come with distractions. I'd have to look it all up. But it just felt nice and weighty, a nice quality item. And I thought somebody might rather like that. Um, it was five pounds. Again, a bit more than I usually like to pay for things, but good brand. And I did do a little bit of research while I was munching my lunch. And I should be able to get perhaps 25 pounds for it. So that's not too bad. It's quite weighty. So I'm guessing that's probably gonna be slightly more in postage. We'll see how it goes. Don't do a lot of electronics, but if I see something interesting or nice, then I'll go for it. So that was from one shop. So what did I spend? Five, fifteen, three fifty, about twenty pounds, I think. Ah, oh, no. <laughs> ah, no. <laughs> yes. Right. The other thing I bought from this other charity shop, this was sitting there for one pound fifty. Now, those of you in the know will know this is a music case. It's black and it's leather. I mean, £1.50, I'm not going to say no to, I mean, it's really thick leather as well. I'm not going to say no to something like that. They can be called document cases as well because they're not just for music, but sheet music primarily, I think, is what they're made for. This is just so nicely made. A couple of scratches on it, but I'm certainly going to be putting more than £1.50 on it to sell it. Oh, more people in. Sorry, I'm being I'm being blind, aren't I? Shellster, hello. Yes, I'm glad you like that coat. You would literally be lost in it. It is quite large, <laughs> but but you can make a tent out of it. Um, yeah, these these sorts of things, are, you know, stuff that's made out of leather always grabs my attention because if it looks reasonably good quality, um, and it's made out of decent leather, then I know it's going to fetch good money. These things can sit for a bit, but I don't mind. I don't mind at a pound fifty. I'm just looking at all this sorting I've yet to do. Never mind. I needed a break. <laughs> oh, hi Tess. Hi, carry on regardless. A few people in the room. How lovely. How lovely, lovely. So that was one shop. Then the next shop where I have got the receipt to hand, I spent £17.50. Okay. Right, got to file that, got systems going there, places to file things. Um, I suppose I could start with the little things first. I haven't looked up any of this because I've literally not long come through the door. Excuse the rustling. Now, I've, now I looked and I didn't see that. Never mind, it's only 50p that I've lost. Dog statue. I did check. I thought I checked and I didn't see that his ear has been replaced. He's, I don't think there's anything special. It just says England on the bottom. Um, so uh, he's he's he's, a, he's a, a fail. You see it live. A fail. But 50p. Woohoo. <laughs> I can live with that. I have far more successes than I have fails or I wouldn't be doing this. And neither would any of you lot. Um, you're trying not to leave the house again today. <laughs> well, I suppose you mean if you leave the house, you're going to go and spend money. And if you've left the house once today already, have you spent money already? Next. But you, uh, did you not say, tell me you were having a, a buying ban because you've got some jewellery to sort out? I could say the same, actually, but 
never mind. I did get this one for 50p though. He's kind of cute. I'm sorry it's all a bit washed out. Um, oh, bugger, he's got the same problem. What was the matter with me? I must have had my glasses on or off or something. He's a silverback dog and he's had his little tail dinged. You can, if you can see it from there. Okay, so I doubt he's got any value unless it's something incredibly rare. Maybe he could be re put back together again. So that's a really bad repair. But look at the little face. Is that cute? Or is that cute? You see, this is what I'm learning. I'm learning about surveillance. And I need to be my own fun sponge and actually spot those sort of things. I only pay 50p an item, so that's okay. In need of a polish, the ever perennial popular hotter boots, but I only, I paid £3.50 for them. And I figured if I get those on, I don't know, I don't know what hotter gets these days. It's not very much, is it? Um, but I would imagine they're fairly popular design because they're the hook and loop. Uh, and they're, they're in very good nick. I wonder what size they are. Yeah. Four. They're four. But tiny feet. Very, very small feet. Um, stay in the warm legs. It, it is very grey. In fact, we had rain a bit earlier. It was beautiful this morning, though. I think that's why I wanted to get out. Those basically look like someone's worn them once. Just the merest scuff to the edge of the heel. So with a bit of a polish, there'll be a few quid in those. I don't get excited about hot issues, but that's the kind of bread and butter stuff that if it's cheap enough, I'll buy it. This I rather liked. Strangely enough, it was sat on the pound rail. Um, it's only warehouse, but it has a bit of a smart feel to it with the epaulette buttons mm -hmm. and a, like a double breasted. Oh, what's that on there? Yeah, double breasted front. There's a there's a slight run thread there, but I can sort that. Um, I don't normally pick warehouse up. I've got to be honest. It's Plastic buttons. I hate plastic buttons. You know how you get used to just nice quality things. <laughs> um, done post and yes, the buying down. Oh, what's happened to the papa? Oh yes, this papa. I thought you meant the real, a real dog. I'm like, oh my god, don't tell me something's happened to a real animal. Um, right, I'm doing it out because I'll be able to show it to you better that way. It's probably with double-breasted things. Don't need bloody buttons. I thought this is quite smart. Um, I've actually got a big pile of things that need repairs. And now that I found my repair kit, there we go. It's sort of a military, yeah, military style. Um, good for spring, which is coming in spite of all evidence to the contrary. And quite on you. Have I done that wrong? Is it? No, that is right. Has it got uneven pockets, or is that just because I'm holding it wrong? No, the pockets are fine. And what I quite liked was the uh, zip detail on the on the cuff. So a little bit cut above their usual, I think. That's quite a nice one. And what size is that? I only paid a pound for it, and it's a size 10. I'm saving that till last. Saving the best till last. <laughs> um, another brand I don't often pick up. It's horrifically overpriced in when you buy it new. It's very overpriced when you buy it new, but doesn't hold a lot of value second hand. Oliver Bonas. But I thought this is a very cute and backless. <laughs> You're going to get a chilly midriff in that. My nan wouldn't let you out in that without a cardigan on, I can tell you. Um, quite sweet, though. I haven't really been over it. It was only a pound. And it did feel nice. And I can't see any stains on it. So I think that will go quite nicely late spring, early summer wear. And I think once we get once we get near March, people don't want to think winter anymore. They want their you know, they want their warm weather stuff. So I've got some hopes for that of being a few quid. And at a pound, you know, if I flip it for 14 99 I'm gonna be reasonably happy. Bread and butter. This is another bread and butter item. I was it took me ages to work out what it was. Yes, it's creased, but it's got a high neck, so it's a nice modern design. People like these. It's only by Zara. It's Zara, but it's not Zara Basics. It's Zara, but it's extra small, which is minuscule, as we all know with Zara. What I liked about it is not only does it have these bow details at the side for an adjustable waist, but although it looks like a skirt, it's actually like play suit underneath. 
So I thought that was rather fun. And again, somebody will like that. Um, had sheer sleeves, you know, all the usual trendy stuff that people like right now. I must get a fringe cut. Gosh, now I know what Carla feels like. Oh, my God. It's bad, isn't it? <laughs> oh, such a mess. Such a mess. Right. I did say this wasn't a very long haul. Get two. A rescue cat. Ah, oh, yes. Oh, yes. Get two. <laughs> get one immediately. Go out and chase a cat right now. <laughs> yes. Kitty. Every house needs a kitty cat. Well, unless it's got a large dog in it, I suppose. That doesn't like cats. Um, this I picked up. I mean, I do all right with these sort of things, especially at this time of year, because it's a men's um wind cheetah sort of jacket but i th i've got a feeling this is reversible it's it's bowden that's one reason i thought that ah, can't i mean they're horribly expensive here and don't always have a massive um it is reversible who knew there we go so it's fleecy one way and sort of wind cheetah the other there we go so you can have it that way around as well it's it's obviously a bloke, it's a big old size. But of course, because it's reversible, they put they will have hidden the size label somewhere deep within a pocket somewhere. With these sort of things, I'm always anxious to make sure the zips work. Because you can bet your life there'll be one that doesn't. Ah, maybe it didn't have a Ah, I bet it's in the kangaroo pouch at the front. <laughs> Medium. It's awfully big for a medium, mind you. So that's all fairly sound. Now, I mean, I don't know what these go for, but I didn't pay a great deal. Oh, no, I paid £5 for it, so I did pay a reasonable amount for it. Um, but, you know, I should be able to get 20 out of that easily. Hopefully more. We'll see. We'll see. It's got the pull thing at the bottom for keeping the wind out. Keeping the wind out of your middle areas. Because nobody wants wind in the middle areas. Where's that going? Anyway, <laughs> and last, but by no means least, not three. My friend, my friend Becky's got four cats, and in quite a small space at the moment. <laughs> this was my best purchase. It cost me five pounds, and it needs a damn good clean. It's as dusty as they come, but there was something about this. It's really, really heavy, and the true vintage, nice, you know, sort of hand-blown studio glass is very heavy. Um, yeah, strange, strange stuff. It really is. I don't know exactly how they've made it. It's very, very strange. Don't quite know what's happened to it. Um, but it has got... It has got a um, thingy on the bottom. So I don't know. This this is part this is kind of part of my learning thing. So I treat this sort of purchase as an investment in my learning. If I've got it right, I've got it right. And if I've got it horribly wrong, then that's my opportunity to learn something. That's tricky. Don't know if it's made that way or whether it's whether well, it is actually cracked, but it isn't, if you know what I mean, on the outside. Anyway, a learning opportunity, but I thought that was incredibly funky. And, you know, I mean, even if I just make my money back on it, I'm learning something. It's got wear to the bottom, uh, which shows that it's got some age to it. So it's not, it wasn't made in China for TK Maxx last week. And there's some nice TK Maxx's pieces out there. Not, not disrespecting them, but you, you don't want to get them confused. Um, and that, ladies and gents, is my haul. I'm, I, now I look at that, I think, oh God, is it? And if it's an absolutely horrible mistake, I could always take it back because they're very sweet there and I do spend a lot of money with them. I try not to do that. It's weird though. You can't see the colours in it. It's green. Yeah, it is green. But kind of only on the very inside. Strange. I like strange things. Maybe somebody else will. It's very mid-century modern anyway, so it might appeal as a decorator's piece. 
um, I'm, there's this process of learning anything about pottery and glass and is is a slow, long and quite painful one. <laughs> I could murder someone with that. It, it's it's the archetypal blunt instrument in the library or, or in, in the tat cave, I guess. <laughs> Lisk Liskard. Oh, Liskard's up the road from Plymouth, um, where my husband came from. Liskard Glass. Oh, thank you very much, Lex. I will look that up, and I won't murder anyone with it, at least not if I can help it. <laughs> so, uh, yes, the um, the office will be tidy eventually, but we're only very much part way through. And there's still a whole load of things that need something to happen with them. Um, I'm taking a load of stuff up to my garage, but I had a bit of a problem in that because it rained so hard, some water actually got underneath the door and was underneath one of my big piles of, of Ikea bags. Thankfully, I not only put everything in Ikea bags, it's sealed in a plastic bag within. So actually didn't get inside the bag. But my God, that was a bit of a, a bit of a squeaky bum moment. Um, hopefully, you know, the worst of this weather will be over quite soon and, and then... Ah, I maybe figure out better ways of storing my stuff, but um, the garage is really my only option at the moment. And I'll keep the, the more special stuff, the more delicate stuff here um, because I like having it on the shelves and it's what I'm trying to learn from. So <laughs> anyway, thank you very much for joining me. I have been enjoying on for nearly half an hour. I'll try and make these things a bit more regular now that now that I've got my space back. Um and not sitting on a bed getting backache. So uh, thank you very much for joining me. I will see you next time. Um, click the subscribe thingy and the little bell thing if you actually want to know when I'm going live, <laughs> because it tends to be rather random, just saying. So I will see you all soon. Thank you for joining me. I'm going to find that button now, and I will end this broadcast. Yes, I want to end the broadcast. It always likes to double check. <laughs> Bye.